Nothing. All the hog it's hiding from me. Come on, girls! Woo! Come on! Come on! Come on, girls! Oh, here where they come. Come on, girls! Come on! Yeah! There we go. Come on, girls. Moving day. You guys have moved. You're in thick pasture. Yos and lambs want. Come on, girls. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whisht. Go on. Go on. There we go. Come on. They're gone. Yep. They've raced all the way through the gates. They know where they're going. You guys have to stay here because you're not going to be in the sunlight. Whereas the hoggets can deal with the sunlight. Nope, you're staying there. Come on, Brindle. Come on, Ink. Good girl. You coming? Good girl. Okay. Loads of grass still up in the wind charger field for the hoggets. It's the second best stuff, the best stuff the yos and lambs have now. Come on, girls. There we go. They've got loads of grass up there. And no storm yet. We're supposed to have stormy weather coming from that direction over there. Clouds are getting bigger. Nope, go on. Go on. Nope, hey, 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 Maya. No. Go on. Come on. Come on. Out you go. There we go. Good dogs. Okay. Enough. Maya. Inca. Enough. Now they've got loads of grass and I've, they've got loads of water here because again, the water tank they don't have access to because the horses are grazing out of that, drinking out of that. Anyway, there they go. Over the brow of the hill into good grazing. This is the short grass area that the horses grazed in the winter. And you can still see where the line is where the line, where the paddock grazing stops is just right here. So that right there is the line between the winter paddock grazing of hay bales and the long grass that was left alone. So it's a lot longer in here than um, in the paddock grazed area. So they've got oceans of grass, loads and loads of grass. And the horses are paddock grazing down below. What a gorgeous day. The hawthorn is in bloom, or as some people call it the May, because it blooms in May. My manure heap. I'm going to have to start taking some of my uh, manure out of there for the tomatoes. You all are thinking 
that there's more delicious short <laughs> stuff and are going back. Nope, you're gonna find the gate is closed. You can see the height of the grass, it's pretty high. They all think they're going to get into that paddock, which is lovely clover, but I want it to grow on. Silly sheep. As you can see here, it's shorter. You can see Inca is able to walk in it easier. Much shorter. This is the paddock to grazed area. <laughs> Trying to nibble stuff over the fence. Okay, ladies, see you later. Oh, there's a mineral lick there, which they didn't have in their last field. They can all do with a, uh, they can all do with shearing. How's the girls? So there's the you from Northern Ireland, the two half-breds, one's there. Where's the other one? The other one is there. And then the rest are all the hoggets. And here's Kestrel. Are you gonna say hello? No, Kestrel doesn't wanna say hello. That's that Yo is eating a dog rose, browsing on the dog rose. Hey, Crystal, how are you? Yeah, you were bold just now. They've got lots of grazing here. Gives the other field a rest now. <laughs>